In this video, we're going to focus on naming our kinds. So let's begin with the common names. How can we name this particular alkyne? This is C2H2, and its common name is acetylene. Now, this is also called ethine because it's an alkyne. So it ends with the suffix YNE. But the common name is acetylene. Now let's try another example. What do you think the common name is for this molecule? So here we have the acetylene portion of the molecule, which is the C triple bond C part. And notice that we have a methyl group in front. So therefore, the common name for this alkyne is simply methyl acetylene. So based on that example, go ahead and try this one. So write the common name for this molecule. So let's focus on the acetylene portion of the molecule. And notice that we have a methyl group on the left and on the right. So therefore, this is going to be called dimethyl acetylene, dimethyl acetylene. And so hopefully you're getting the hang of how to write the common names of our kinds. Now let's move on to our next example, which is going to be CH3, CH2, C, triple bond, CH. So go ahead and write the common name for that alkyne. And also write the IUPAC name since we're here already. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with IUPAC name actually. So this is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 is associated with butane, but instead of writing butane, we're going to write butyne. Now the triple bond is on carbon 1. So this is called 1 butyne. Now, what is the common name of this particular alkyne? So we can see that we have our acetylene group, and this is an ethyl group attached to it. So the common name is going to be ethyl acetylene. And so that's it for this example. Here's another one. So for this example, write the IUPAC name and also the common name of this particular alkyne. So let's start with the IUPAC name. We need to number in such a way that the alkyne has the lowest possible number. So this is going to be carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's pentane, but instead of saying pentane, it's going to be pentine. Now the triple bond is between carbons 2 and 3, so we have to pick the lower of those two numbers. So this is going to be called 2-pentine. Now let's try the common name. So here is our acetylene functional group. And on the left side, we have a methyl attached to it. And on the right side, we have an ethyl group attached to it. So we need to put it in alphabetical order. So the common name is ethyl, methyl, acetylene. Now, for this next example, all I want you to do is to write the common name. So let's say that we have a benzene ring attach to the carbon-carbon triple bond. How can we name it? So notice that whenever you have a benzene ring as a substituent, it's called phenyl. So to name this, it's simply going to be phenyl acetylene. And for the common name, you need to write it as one word. So if you see me put a space, it really should be together as one word. So just keep that in mind. 
Now let's work on another example. So for this one, write the common name and the IUPAC name as well. So let's start with the IUPAC name. This is going to be carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have a methyl on carbons 2 and 5. So it's going to be 2, 5, dimethyl. And for 6 carbons, that's hexane, but we're going to use hexine. And the triple bonds on carbon 3. So it's going to be dash 3, dash hexine. And so that's how you can name this particular alkyne. Now, what is the common name for this particular molecule? So notice that we have an isopropyl group on the left side and on the right side. So this is going to be called diisopropyl. Acetylene. Now let's work on one final example. What's the common name for in this molecule? So we have two phenyl groups attached to the acetylene part, so it's simply going to be diphenyl acetylene. Now let's work on some more examples with IUPAC nomenclature. So go ahead and write the IUPAC name for this particular alkyne. Now should we number it from left to right or right to left? If we go from right to left, the triple bond will be on carbon 3. And if we go from left to right, the triple bond will still be on carbon 3. So which way should we go? Going from left to right, we're going to have the name 2-chloro. And then we have a methyl group on carbon 5. So it's going to be 5-methyl. And we have the alkyne on carbon 3. So that's going to be 3 hexine because we have six carbons in the parent chain. Now, if we go in the other direction, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So chloro still comes before methyl. We still need to put it in alphabetical order, but it's going to be 5 chloro dash 2 methyl dash 3 hexine. And so the first one is going to win because you want the first of, excuse me the first substituent to have the lower number and so this is the right answer now let's move on to our next example so it's going to be CH3 CH2 dash CH with a CH3 attached to it and then we have our carbon carbon triple bond and another triple bond at the end. So go ahead and name that molecule. So because we have the triple bond at the end here, we want to start counting from right to left. We want to give the uh, triple bond the lower values. So we have a nine carbon chain. That's the longest chain. And so that's going to be nonane, but instead of nonane, it's going to be non nine. But we do have two alkynes or two triple bonds. So it's going to be a diine. So let's put it all together. We have a methyl group on carbon 7. So it's 7 methyl. And then we have a triple bond at carbon 1 and 5. So it's going to be 1, 5 nana. And then diine. Because we have two triple bond functional groups. And so this is how we could name this particular molecule. Now what do you do when you have a molecule that contains an alkyne functional group and an alkene functional group? 
which one has more priority? Should we place the one at the alkyne or at the alkene? In a situation such as this, the alkene has more priority. So we're going to count giving the alkene the lower number. So we have six carbons. So this is hexane, but it's going to be hexene instead. Now the way you name it, it's going to be one hexene because the alkene is at carbon one and then dash five ion because the triple bond is on carbon five. And so that's how we can name a molecule that has an alkene and an alkyne functional group. Now, what if we have an alkyne with an alcohol functional group? Which one has more priority, the alcohol or the alkyne? It turns out that the alcohol has a higher priority than the alkyne. So we're going to give the OH group the lower number. So this is called 3-butyne, because the alkyne is on carbon 3, and then dash 2-all, because the alcohol is on carbon 2. And so that's how we can name this molecule. Now let's try one more example. Go ahead and name this particular molecule. So how should we count it? Should we count it like this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or should we count it like this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. When you count the longest chain, it has to include the alkyne functional group. So we need to use the numbers in green. So this is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now we have a propyl group on carbon 3. So this is going to be called 3-propyl dash 1 heptyne, since we have a 7-carbon chain with the alkyne function group. And the triple bond is at carbon 1. And so that's it for this video. So now you know how to name alkynes using IUPAC nomenclature, and you know how to write the common names for alkyne molecules. Thanks for watching.